Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's your number one fatty and coming to you today with a video to go ahead and help all you career mode fans out at the start of FIFA 20. And that of course is the best young cheap players that you should be buying in career mode. Now, of course, elephant in the room, dynamic potential is a thing. For guys who don't know what dynamic potential is, potential is not a set attribute this year in career mode. Depending on the form, depending on the morale of the player, it can either fluctuate higher or lower. And if that is the way that you want to go ahead and play career mode this year, more power to you. But you clicked on this video, which tells me something. You want to go ahead and find some good cheap gems that already have nice potential that you can take to the next level. And I got you, homie. Because today, I'm going to give you cheap players at every single position at three different price range. Players you can buy for around 10 million, players in the mid range that are around 5 million, and for you broke boys, players that are around 1 million or below. Which means no matter what team you're using in crew mode, you'll be able to find an investment or two in this player list. And this video is going to be in two parts. First, I'm going to show you all of these players at the start of career mode, their price points, their starting stats, and a little bit of stuff that makes them more interesting. And then the second half of the video, we're going to sim ahead four to five seasons so you can go ahead and see what these guys look like when they're nearly fully grown. If you are excited to see the best young, cheap youngsters you should be buying in career mode, go ahead and take your hard rack nibble, smush into that like button right now, and subscribe for more career mode FIFA 20 goodness. Before we hop into it, a quick word from our sponsor. Yes, one football is partnering with the Fat Asian. That is right, the best app to keep up to date with the latest scores and news in world football and with the footy season well underway. One Football is the best app to keep up to date with lineups, with club drama, with injury updates, and with them covering over 100 leagues and competitions, whoever you follow, they got you, homie. It's absolutely free and available on iOS and Android. And I actually use One Football even before they sponsor the channel. And I highly recommend it, even if they didn't sponsor me. So go ahead, download it. A link is in the description down below. Thanks again. Again to one football for sponsoring this video now back to the show all right welcome back so this video is going to be a long one so to assist all you guys i'm going to leave timestamps in the pinned comment down below so you can hop around and i would also recommend that you bookmark this video so that you can go ahead come back and then you can jump around in the timestamps to see you know which position group you're looking for Without further ado, let's hop into it. First position's up, the strikers. And the first player that I'm going to show you is probably the most well-rounded cheap striker that you can buy in the game. That is the Portuguese man, Rafael Leal. He starts out with 75 overall with a potential or base potential of 86. He's valued at 10 and a half million to start off with. And you can see in his attributes, he's pretty well-rounded in ball control, dribbling, finishing, and shot power. But his standout stats are his physicals. He's got 88 acceleration and 86 sprint speed right out of the bat along with 77 strength. And we're not done, because he also has four star skill moves as well as a four star weak foot and stands at six foot two. If you want a striker that can do it all, he's your guy. Next up, also in the high price point, we have Jonathan David of Canada, starts out at a 74, but what's interesting is he has a base potential of 87, actually higher than Raphael. He starts at a value of nine and a half million pounds. And his attributes are somewhat similar to Rafael Liao's. He's a little bit less physical, a little bit less technical, but a slight competitive advantage that he might have is that he possesses a five-star weak foot, which is always valuable for strikers. Now for the mid-range striker, I went with this man, Hurtado. Starts out at 70 overall, can get all the way up to an 86, and has a starter value of 3.5 million pounds. He doesn't have the highest finishing out of everyone, only coming in at 76, but you can go ahead and train that up. But it's more of his physicals that are stand out. Have an acceleration of 85, a sprint speed of 81, pretty good stamina and strength. And he also possesses four star skill moves. So for those who want a striker that can do a little skills on the cheap, this is your man. And last but not least is the starlet of Manchester United. A lot of you guys probably know this name already. And that is Mason Greenwood. Starts out at a 67 but has a base potential of 87. And that is quite a steal considering that his value at the start of the game is 1.4 million. Even if you don't need a striker, you might as well buy him. Now him being 67, his stats aren't that great. And he is 17 years of age, making him one of the younger players on this list, which is important to state because them being younger means it's gonna take another season or even two extra seasons for them to get up to their true prime, which can be mitigated with player training as well as dynamic potential. But just be aware. Moving on to the right wings in the expensive slot, another popular name, and that is Hudson Adoy of Chelsea. The 18 year old starts out at a 74 and has a base potential of 88. His starter value is 10 and a half million pounds 
bounds, and we go into his attributes. As you can see, he's as expected to be good at ball control dribbling, and it's quite pacey, 86 acceleration, good agility, as well as good sprint speed. Only a three-star weak foot, but he does possess four-star skill moves. For the mid-range on the right wing, we went with this man, De La Vega. The Argentinian starts out at 70 overall, but has a base potential of 88, making him quite a steal at his starter value of 3.3 million pounds. Now he is at 70, so his technical stats are a little bit lacking, but his physicals are right what you want to see for a winger. Excellent acceleration, agility, jumping, and sprint speed, but he does only possess three-star skill moves as well as a three-star weak foot. And for the cheapies, I went ahead and selected this man, the Belgian Doku, who starts out at a 66 overall, but has a base potential of 86, and he is the cheapest on the list coming in with a starter value of 1.1 million pounds. He is a 66 overall, so obviously his technical stats are not going to be impressive, but check out these physicals dark greens in acceleration agility balance jumping and sprint speed and he only has three star skill moves but he does possess a four star weak foot now we're going to move over onto the left wing and the first guy that we're going to name is claude maurice the frenchman starts out at a 72 overall can get up to a base potential of 86 and he's on the cheap end. his value is actually only six million to start off and once again his technicals nothing to really shake a stick at but check out the physicals 91 acceleration 90 agility Agility and dark greens and balance as well as 87 sprint speed and excellent stamina 80 stamina to start off with for youngster is great and for you guys who do love the skills he got four star skill moves three star week next up in the mid tier slash low tier i mean he, he only has a value of two million to start off with and that is Urzi. little Urzi vert starts out at a 69 can get all the way up to an 87 which makes him the highest rated left winger that i'm going to show you and he's 69 so once again technical is not all that great but physical is very high in acceleration balance as well as 90 sprint speed and decent stamina and he's got three star skill moves and a two star weak foot and he's five foot six so there are a little bit of pros and cons with them and then for the bargain bin boys we have the arsenal man Saka over here starting out at a overall of 65 but he has a base potential of 86 his starter value is only 1.1 million pounds once again technical is not that great but physical is pretty good in acceleration and sprint speed and he only has three star skill moves but he does possess a four star weak foot moving into the midfield we're going to start out with cams and the first guy i'm going to show you is this man right here herod he starts out at 76 and only has a base potential of 83 which is kind of steep considering that his price is actually the highest of any of the cams i'm going to show you coming at 9.5 million and his stats are pretty well rounded he's got good physicals acceleration and agility which we won in a cam but the most noteworthy thing about him is that he is the only one out of these cheapies under 10 million in the game that has five star skill moves so for you skillers this is your man next up at cam we have almada who starts out at a 72 and has a base potential of 88 his starter value is 6 million and you can already see that he is going to be very well balanced and then check the physicals at 72 87 acceleration 88 agility 89 balance and 85 strength speed. The Argentinian is five foot seven, possesses three star skill moves, three star weak foot. And for the mid range, I'm kind of cheating here, but you knew I had to throw in an Asian. And of course, is the young Real Madrid starlet, Takafusa Kubu. Starts out at 70 overall, can get to a base potential of 87 and is valued 3.3 million to start off. He's listed primarily as a right mid, but can also play at center forward and really can play cam. Pretty well rounded stats, good agility, acceleration, balance, and whatnot. And he comes in at five foot eight with four star skill moves and four star weak foot. He is just a silky smooth look. Little camp. And last but not least, we have Emil Smith Rowe. The Arsenal man comes in at 65 overall and has a base potential of 83, but he's a bargain, only 1 million. And he is 65 overall, so you don't really want to look at his stats, but he does have four star skill moves. Moving into the center mids option, we have this man, Nicholas Dominguez. Starts out at 75 and get all the way up to a potential of 87. And it must be noteworthy that he plays for Velez Sarsfield because there are multiple N Dominguez's in the game. Now, he is listed primarily as a center mid but I would advise playing him actually as a CDM because you can see slide tackle at 81 already off the bat almost 80 stand tackle and then he has great aggression acceleration jumping agility sprint speed and 91 stamina just sit him at his CDM spot and he'll play the whole game top it off he's 5 foot 10 which makes him tall enough to win headers 
in the midfield and he's got a four star weak foot. Next up is the Barcelona man Puig. Comes in at a 71 overall can get up to a potential of 87. His starter value is four and a half million. He's from the La Masea Academy so he's probably overrated but if you want the next Iniesta he's probably your closest bet. Next up in the mid range is Morgan Gibbs White. The Wolves man comes in at a 70 overall and he has potential of 86 and a starter value of 3.4 million. As you see his stats are pretty well suited. Pretty good physicals as well and he does possess four star skill moves although the two star weak foot might hurt him in certain situations. And then moving on to CDMs in the mid tier range we have this man Samare. Starts out at a 72 overall with a base potential of 86 and a starter value of 6 million. He is listed as a center mid but he is more well suited as a CDM as well. Possessing decently well rounded stats as well as excellent physical, good strength and sprint speed and very nice height 6 foot 2 so he's going to win a lot of those headers in the midfield. And then for the bargain basement guys who need a good center mid or CDM you have this man James Sands. The American comes in at a 66 overall and has a base potential of 86 with a starter value of 1.1 million. He is 66 overall so his value is not going to be all that great and he is pretty young at 18 years of age but develop him correctly he'll be a very very good asset for you. Then moving into the fence we're going to do center backs. Next up is Indica of France. He starts out at a 76 overall and has a base potential of 86 and a starter value of 10 million flat. His technical stats are more of a traditional center back, just being mostly defensive. And his sizzles are that of more of a traditional center back as well. And he does come in at a towering six foot four. So if you want a tree in your defense, this is your guy. And now for the mid-tier center backs, we have our second Japanese man on here, and that is Tomiyashu. He starts out at a 73 overall, and he has potential of 84 with a base value of 5.5 million. For a 73, he has pretty good defensive stats, as well as he is quick enough and quite strong. And he comes in at six foot two with a five star weak foot which is niftier than you think for a defense the other mid-tier center back on this list is Todibo. he comes in at a 71 overall and has potential of 86 with a starter value of 4.3 million his defensive stats are a little bit underwhelming but his physicals are very nice for someone his age and he stands in at a monster six foot three so another tree and then for the cheapest center backs on our list we have armini the italian comes in at 66 overall can get all the way up to an 84 and has a poultry value of 1.1 million his stats aren't really anything to look at but six foot one and four star weak foot and then we have the cheapest center back on our list with charisma starts out at 65 and you get it only up to an 81 but his value is under a million at 900k actually it's not all the great he's 65 rated overall and he comes in at six foot one now we're gonna move on to right back starting off with a tall he is 77 overall with a potential of 86 and a starter value of 11 million. But if you're going to buy only one youngster on this list, I would probably recommend either Raphael or this man right here because look at his stats. Greens in long passing, short passing, slide tackle, stand tackle, finishing, dribbling, crossing, and ball control for a guy who can play right back, right wing back, and right mid. Then you go into his mentals, greens, and aggression, attack positioning, composure, interceptions, and then 90 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, and light and dark greens in all of his other physicals. And I am not done yet. Check this out. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot. He is a right back Marcelo. <laughs> Pick him up and basically play him anywhere. And then for a mid tier, we got Aaron's. He starts at a 72 overall and he has potential of 85 and a starter value of 4.8 million. His stats are not quite as impressive <laughs> as a tall, but he is quite quick and quite fast with good stamina to boot for a 19 year old. And he has three star skill moves and three star weak foot. And then for your cheaper boys, we got the Liverpool man Hover comes in a 62 overall can get all the way up to a potential of 85 and has a value of 550K. He's a 62 overall, so his stats suck. And and he is 17 years of age, which once again, he's going to be one of those players that take a little bit longer to develop. But you get what you pay for. And then we move over to left backs. And we have this man over here, run on Lodi. He starts out at a 77 overall and can get all the way up to an 85. And has a starter value of 10 and a half million. And he also is a fantastically well-rounded fullback. Honestly, pick up Lodi and Atal and you are set at your fullbacks for the entirety of your career. Because as you can see, technicals is basically light greens in almost everything. And then physicals, it's dark green in almost everything. As well as having pretty good mental sets, 
fantastically well-rounded. And if you want to do a little bit of skilling, he's got four-star skill moves. And for your mid-tier option, we have Tavares. The Portuguese man starts out at 72, can get up to a base potential of 84 and a starter value of 4.4 million. His attributes are pretty well-rounded in the technicals and he's pretty quick, coming in with acceleration of 85 and a sprint speed of 88, but he's got excellent strength, 76 strength and good stamina for a fullback. And what I like about him is not only does he possess a four-star weak foot, he is six foot tall, which means that a lot of the crosses to the back post, he will be able to go ahead and head her out. And then for our cheapy option, we have Zagre of PSG, starts out at a 62, has a base potential of 83, and has a poultry starter value of 550k. His technical stats, not all that great, but he's got pretty good physicals, dark greens and acceleration, agility, and bounce, which will allow you to kind of scoot around players and take the ball off of them. And he does possess a four-star weak foot, although he is five foot six, so he is kind of susceptible to the back post headers. But once again, you get what you pay for. And last but not least, we got Keeper starting out, but this year's LaFont, and that is the Ukrainian Lunin. He begins with a overall of 76, but can get all the way up to a base potential of 88, and he has a starter value of 10 million. He's already got light greens in all of the goal kicking stats, and as you guys know, it's broken as ever. If you train him up, he's gonna be a monster. And he comes in at six foot three, so he has pretty good coverage. Then for a mid-tier two, kind of cheapy tier, you have Diego Costa. Starts out at a 70, but can get up to an 83, and with training, I'm pretty sure you can get him a little bit higher than that with a starter value of 2.5 million. Now, his stats aren't all that great, but I mean, positioning and reflexes, that's probably the most important ones. And he comes in at six foot two, so he's got pretty good coverage as well. And the last guy, and probably the cheapest guy I'm gonna show you is this man right here, Gavin Bazunu. Starts out at a 59 overall and has a base potential of 84 with a value of 250K. His attributes are obviously going to be bad. He's 59 rated at all, but to grab a keeper for 250K that can get all the way up to 84, what a steal. And that is it for their starter stats. Now let's jump ahead four to five seasons and see how they developed. Go time with it. All right, we set five seasons into the future. This took me effing forever because career mode is all kind of messed up this year. I kept on getting sacked when I delegated contracts. So big note to you guys, do not accept release clauses. Always reject them. Because I've been seeing it all over the community. There are a lot of people who are just getting auto-fired because they did something wrong with the release clauses. And also, you're going to see here, because of the new dynamic potential system, not everyone actually got up to their, you know, nominal potential. Because of the lack of playing time, you can't play everyone. There were guys who kind of didn't get enough play time to reach their max potential. But I'm going to show you the best that I can of the best that I got. Starting off with the striker Rafael Liao, the most well-rounded striker that you could probably buy in the game. He got all the way up to an 87 with a value of 55.5 million pounds. As you can see, very well-rounded stats, dark greens in ball control, dribbling, curve, uh, finishing, as well as volleys and shot power. And then very impressive in the physicals, 99 acceleration, 86 agility, 85 reactions, 99 spin speed, and 92 strength. What a tank. And a composure of 84 as well. And I'm gonna kind of go quickly through a lot of these stats, otherwise we're gonna be here forever. So if you wanna take a more detailed look at that, just go ahead, rewind it, and pause. Next up was Jonathan David, and he got all the way up to an 86 with a value of 49 million. Oh, his technicals might actually be better than Liao's over here with 92 ball control, uh, 95 long shots, 99 heading accuracy, and 88 finishing. And he also got 99 acceleration as well as 99 strength speed and pretty good stamina, strength, and dark greens and all of his other physicals. And then surprisingly, the best of our young strikers was this man, Jan Hurtado, got all the way up to an 88 and a value of 92 million, which is noteworthy because his base potential was 86. And even more impressive because his finishing is only at 78. How did he get this high? Well. He's got fantastic long shots, dark greens, and penalties, short passing, shot power, dribbling, ball control. And then, wow, look at these physicals, 99 acceleration, 86 jumping, 99 reactions, 99 sprint speed, 85 stamina, and 91 strength. And then Mason Greenwood turned out to be kind of the runt of the litter, didn't get enough playtime, only got all the way up to an 80, but a respectable 17 million in value. And he's got some pretty nifty stats, 90 long shots. 86 shot power, 85 finishing, 86 heading accuracy, as well as 94 acceleration, pretty good agility, and 85 sprint speed. We go over to the right side and we have Hudson Adoy. He got up to an 87 with a value of 60 and a half million. His main stance, he's got a 97 in ball control as well as a 94 in dribbling. And he is a lightning quick player, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 82 balance, and 98 sprint speed. In the mid tier, De La Vega got up to an 85 and a value of 46 and a half million. 
and he's got pretty good technicals with a standout of 99 dribbling. And wow, look at these physicals, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 91 balance, 92 jumping, 82 reactions, 99 sprint speed, and 83 stamina. And last but not least, the cheapy Doku didn't really grow all that much, only got up to a 77 overall with a value of 9 million. His technical attributes, eh, not all that great, but still, his physical attributes, very, very quick, 98 acceleration, 99 agility, with 95 jumping and 95 strength speed. And then, kind of disappointingly, over on the left side, Claude Maurice only got up to his 79, didn't even grow any this season, and has a value of 12.5. Kind of lackluster in the technicals, but physicals very impressive, a lot of dark greens. And the same thing happened with Urzi. He only got up to an 82, which is closer to his base potential. And his technical attributes being kind of underwhelming as well, but his physicals very, very strong. Dark greens and another guy who got 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. I think what might have happened is because they were left mids and we played primarily a formation with left wings, they probably didn't get enough play time and thus didn't develop. And then we had Sokka, who only got up to a 78 with a value of 10.5 million. And with just kind of mediocre technicals, but excellent physicals. So there seems to be a pattern that no matter what, if you're a winger, a striker, you're going to get pretty good physicals. And then Harit, who was the five-star skiller, he got up to an 80, so a couple points short of his actual potential. His standout stats are 88 dribbling, pretty good ball control, which is something you would want in a five-star skiller. And he's got great agility, good balance, good acceleration, and sprint speed. Moving on, we have Omar. Mata, who got up to an 86 and a value of 76 and a half million and his tentacles are exquisitely well-rounded dark greens and long pass long shots short passing shot power dribbling finishing as well as ball control and then jesus acceleration 99 agility 99 balance 99 and sprint speed 99 and then we have Kubo who got up to an 82 and a value of 22 million. Once again, a very nifty player with 90 ball control, 95 dribbling, as well as 81 finishing and 83 short path. And he's lightning quick with dark greens in most of his physicals except for strength. Moving into the center mids and this man, Nicholas Dominguez, was the highest rated player after all simulations. Coming in at a 90 overall, a value of 104 and a half million pounds. And yeah, just check out these stats man just pause and take a look at it because he's got more dark greens in his technicals than he does and for some reason he's got 99 finishing for a center mid and a player that you should probably be playing at cdm and then he literally has dark greens <laughs> he literally has 90s in all of his physicals except for strength which is an 81. next up we have puig who got up to an 82 and a value of 21 and a half million and it's got some interesting stats 87 ball control 93 dribbling with 90 short pass and 87 finishing something about these center mids great at finishing next up you have gibbs white who got up to an 84 and a value of 38 million once again another center mid with a pretty good finishing 91 finishing as well as good dribbling ball control short passing long pass and long shots and you can see dark greens in most of his physical stance except for jumping although they tend to be on the lower end in the low 80s then moving more into our cdm range we have samari who got up to an 83 and a value of 25 million his attributes mirror a lot of the center mids although stand out 91 stand tackle and only light greens in most of his physicals although he does have pretty good sprint speed and last but not least one of the cheapies actually made it up to an 81 james sands comes in with a value of 20 and a half million and you can see while he's not really a creator defensively excellent he's got a stand tackle of 89 but I must admit, his physical is a little bit underwhelming, although he does possess very admirable stamina at 83. And then we had Emile Smith-Rowe, who got up to an 80. His value is 29 million. And you see that he's pretty well balanced in most of his technical sense, but nothing really that stand out. But in his physicals, he is lightning quick with an acceleration of 91, good agility at 99, and sprint speed of 96. Then as we move into the defense, our first center backup is Zendika. He got up to an 84 with a value of 37.5 million. Reminded that he's kind of a sentinel type center back coming in at six foot four and stats reflect as much 82 defensive awareness uh, 87 heading accuracy 85 stand tackle and 80 slide tackle while improving in his physicals 88 strength 84 sprint speed with good reactions jumping and decent acceleration the other center backs, for whatever reason, did not turn out all that great. As you can see, Takahiro Tomiyasu only got up to an 80, with a value of 12 and a half million. And you can see that his stats are respectable, but a little bit underwhelming, uh, under 80 in stand tackle as well as slide tackle. But very nifty in the physicals, as his sprint speed is 90, with a strength of 87. Todibo only got up to a 77, with a value of 7.5. And he too, a little bit underwhelming, 75 in slide tackle and 72 in stand tackle. But once 
once again, kind of makes up for it in the physicals with 91 jumping, 88 sprint speed, as well as 89 strength. And then our first over chippies, Armini got up to a 77, the value of 8.5 million. He too has kind of underwhelming defensive stats. And honestly, not all that great in the physicals, although he does have sprint speed over 82. And then the cheapest of the bunch, Charisma, only got up to a 71 with a value of 2.1 million. And his stats are, are, are not great. <laughs> he just didn't get enough playtime. But our fullbacks fared a lot better. As you can see, Atal got all the way up to an 88 and a value of 72 and a half million. A reminder that this was a kid who had four star skill moves and a five star weak foot. And his stats, my God, just take a look at this. Dark greens in most of his technical attributes. He's got 81 finishing, great defensive awareness, and pretty much dark greens and light greens in his physicals and mentals he's one of the most well-rounded <laughs> players that you could get in the game Aaron so did not fare quite as well he only got all the way up to an 80 with a value of 12 and a half million he does have respectable defensive stats with 85 stand tackle 82 defensive awareness and he's got pretty good physicals 95 acceleration 90 sprint speed and 90 stamina and then the cheapy right back hover only got up to a 78 but once again he was the youngster in the run of litter didn't get enough play time and even then he's got pretty well-rounded sense like Mike reads the majority of his technicals and in his physicals he's fast enough 95 acceleration 87 sprint speed and the other fullback position our monster left back came through he got all the way up to an 89 overall and Lodi's value is 85.5 million he like his right back counterpart has dark greens throughout all of his technicals and dark greens in most of his mental and physicals I don't know what it is about the growth rates of fullbacks but grab both of these guys and at the mid tier other left backs we had Tavares who only got up to a 79 with a value of 10 and a half million. You can see that he's pretty well rounded in most of his stats, although a little bit lacking in his defensive stats. And in the physicals, he still is a beast with 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, good stamina and strength. And then we have the run to our litter at the left back. We got Zagre who only got up to a 72, a value of 2.6 million. I mean, his, his technical stats aren't exactly great, although he's got pretty good ball control and he's got pretty good physicals coming in with 930 sprint speed, 99 acceleration. And then last but not least, we have our keepers, uh, with Lunin Gidong all the way up to an 88 and a value of 54 and a half million. And you can see that he's gotten into the mid to high 80s in all the stats. In fact, getting a 99 in kicking with a low point of 79 in his handling. Our mid tier Diego Costa got up to a 77 with a value of 6 million. And his stats are. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, we had the youngster Gavin Bazunu. Uh, he only got up to a 73. Didn't get a lot of play time. And his attributes reflect that. Although Although he has 97 kicking for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be the best young cheap players that you should be buying in FIFA 20 career mode to start off with. If you found this useful, go ahead, hit that like button because this took ages to do. Please share it with your friends who also love career mode. And yes, I know there are literally hundreds and hundreds of great youngsters that I just couldn't put on this list, otherwise I'd be here forever. So if you have any great youngsters or cheap hidden gems, go ahead, list them in the comment section down below. But if you want to see more FIFA 20 content, go ahead and click over here, Dinksy Poos, where I had the strongest team in FIFA 20 face off against the fastest team in FIFA 20. Or if you want some good old classic crew mode goodness, check out my China Ruins Everything crew mode. It is pure chaos. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Be modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself, stay humble. Until next time, guys, stay thick.